Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed until you get a proper education. And uh, it's really important. Anyway, we're going to start with a precision auto trade. And uh, it's uh, one of my favorite and it's a friendly use, easy to control, easy to learn. And uh, I want to start with uh, some open uh, uh, positions still. You can see on the 10 second, uh, we are on the trade. And we're still on uh, the ES five minutes. We're still uh, on a trade. Uh, I want to uh, show something else today. I want to show how uh, the market react on a very small time frame when you have an auto trade have a effective entry smart entry not just a moving average you can see here on the cl 10 13 range is a very high time frame and and you can see how this market is just barely broke even because this is a swing trading as an example today the cl did not work on a high time frame because it was not trending but now this is the advantage that's what were the most important here is the key is when you have an auto trade can really which most of the auto trade fell when they use a smaller time frame if we are looking at the CL here when you are using a dummy auto trade don't think or don't have a really good programming uh, it's is just based on a moving average you would have been chopped in here and you would have lost a lot of money because it's based on moving average if you go in the detail you can see this trend here is going below and above the moving average it's going below the ATR and uh, or above an ATR or a MACD and this is was a critical area here in this area here and it can do tremendous damage to your account when the, the auto trade is just based on moving average and as we see here this this uh, 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 20 second it is a really uh, the second charge is a very good idea when the market is not trending and then uh, you can start at least nailing uh, the different so that's why the difference between efficiency on an auto trade is not the PNL anymore. It is um, when the, the auto trade don't have efficiency, you are forced to go on a higher stop loss and a higher time frame to cover uh, the, the 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 faults you have on that auto trade. Despite if you're gonna. Uh, optimize it is useless because the the, the entry basis it's not efficient it's just based on a couple moving averages and and when you have an auto trade uh, have an efficient entry you're no longer you need to go on a higher time frame despite the market if it's going slow you still can nail the market and get something out of it when you are using a small time frame and that is the difference between uh, when you are um, uh, it makes a lot of different and uh, of course a lot of traders uh, they like to auto trade but they don't understand the concept and what is good what is not uh, for every given market and uh, they don't understand sometimes when the market especially newbies they don't understand when the market is not moving why they're not making money they think is the auto trade is the opposite is so when when the market is not moving there is a solution for it and when the market is moving you can swing trading so those kind of things is in your in your package that is over 14 auto trades for a reason it's not just bragging about many auto trades it's for a reason for that trader understand the situation he is in and pull the right tools you know uh, you know, you, you, if, if you're taking an engine off, you don't bring a wire plier and try to lose the nuts with. 
you know, and, and you need to the proper tools to take an engine out. And I don't see how you can uh, do all this based on an ATR or a MACD or a uh, dummy uh, indicator and taking the whole market. Yet uh, there is a big lack of experience with trading and uh, not understand uh, the concept in the market. When you do that, uh, the, the, the success is very low. Uh, despite, uh, without education, without a guy supporting the education, without a guy can show uh, what is all about the price action as we do on the other channel. So uh, when, when there is no backup with that auto trade, um, uh, then um, a backup in, in many ways, in updates, educated, uh, try to understand how the market is moving, how to pull which chart, how to activate the auto trade. It's not a just optimizing. Optimizing is not a, a, a crystal ball. <coughs> Excuse me. An optimization is not going to tell you on a Friday uh, CL13 range is not going to work because the market is not trending. This is not going to happen on optimization. So this is one of the keys is, is there is a much more details into the auto trade than it just optimizing and uh, purchasing auto trade. And um, soon or later, that person will find out the hard way or the easy way, whatever he wants to do. Uh, let's uh, jump on another auto. I'm not uh, going to print every single chart. I just want to show you on the TI7 also. This is a TI7 auto trade. And uh, the TI7 has a big variety of entries and exit and filters. This is a total different auto trade from the Precision Auto Trade. This one here is the TI7 for Ninja Trader 8. Also on the TI7, there is a three scalper and one reversal auto trade in there. There is around 10 entries in this. This is a bigger one, a bigger auto trade. And uh, you can cut it the way you want it. So this is really um, 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 it, when, when a new trader come in now what we do we, we put him on, on a precision auto trade immediately to learn the market and then he can upgrade himself to the TI7 I mean they all come in in the package but uh, this one here has a 10 different entries 10 different filters so that will be better if a guy come in and uh, start with the precision on uh, uh, auto trade, because on the precision auto trade, uh, there is uh, only one entry, and it's very efficient. It's already well tuned from inside. It does not require any filters. Easy to optimize. Any guy can go ahead and learn how to optimize it in a couple of three days. On the TI7, once he learned the basic and start understand, uh, looking at the chart, the technical chart for a couple of minutes in the morning before he start auto trading, uh, then he will uh, start upgrading himself and learning. As we see on the YM9 range, uh, you can see how uh, the, the efficiency in the entry and everything. And then if we look on the ES uh, one minute, this is a statement when it's a one minute, Nell 1300 on the bottom here is also very friendly use is a total different entry is the scalper the Nasdaq and the Russell or you can use it on an ES uh, if you want to or you can use it on any uh, uh, market but also this one here is a very friendly use so there is a simple auto trade for people when I get started and uh, upgrade yourself and start being an advanced trader. For the guy who's been around, uh, and uh, uh, he can start with the TI7, or he can start with the Precision Auto Trade, or he can start with the Scalper. And we have so many different auto trades as well. Uh, we will cover that uh, probably next week. A little announcement, uh, we've been away from uh, YouTube for one week. Uh, normally we go every day on a YouTube. And now we are um, um, we're setting up uh, all those uh, new uh, office. And um, 
and uh, also it is a little bit uh, different for me because uh, the computers are different right now we upgraded to different computers for that office and um, the screens are perfect they are very high end so uh, we resume next week uh, hopefully uh, uh, on YouTube on the other channel uh, as normal and uh, we are ready now to uh, it's been a hard week you know setting up all the that's why I don't have all the monitors right now uh, up uh, but uh, it will be and uh, we have we are most likely ready to go next week again live on the YouTube I want to say thank you very much and wish you a very pleasant weekend and now uh, hopefully for our members uh, we resume on Monday for the private webinars uh, members only and no guests are allowed and uh, on Tuesday we go back uh, to live on the YouTube I wish everyone a pleasant weekend God bless you all and I wish you really really um, uh, a happy weekend thank you very much and uh, see you next week bye for now